أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم القحار الله سبحانه وتعالى has been described as القحار the old subduer the one who dominates this is the 15th name within the asma ul husna and it describes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the one who dominates over everything within his kingdom Allah is the one before whom the whole of creation has humbled itself and submitted whether willingly or unwillingly before his grandeur before his power and before his perfect strength Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he has power and control over all things and nothing occurs except what he allows it has been said that whoever recites the name al qahhar or the person who recites this name will be made free from the attractions of the world and gain inner peace al qahhar has also been mentioned in the holy quran it says in surah yusuf which is more reasonable belief in the existence of numerous divine lords each of them different from the other or belief in one god who holds absolute sway over all that exists that says in that is said in surah al yusuf where allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he talks about the idea that if there were numerous lords this is an argument against hindus and other people who believe in multiple gods ma'allah that if there were multiple lords then they would go against the quality of a lord themselves because if there was for example ma'ad allah if there were two gods then one would want it to be day and the other would want it to be night now it can't be day and night both at once so one would have to subdue over the other now the other one how can they be called god because they are dependent on the other so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah al yusuf which is more reasonable belief in the existence of numerous divine lords each of them different from the other or belief in one god who holds absolute sway over all that exists subhanallah pray that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows us to carry on believing in his oneness and stay steadfast on the deen i mean